Hello guys, uh, good morning. I'm Architect Oliver and I prepared another uh, video for you para makatulong sa pagre-review nyo. By this time, I prepared the uh, SPP 2016, Architect's Fee, Understanding the Method of Compensation, and the Regular Design Services. Okay, so before we start guys, if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe para maging updated ka sa mga videos na ipopost ko and for sure, malaking tulong to sa pagre-review mo. Okay, so let's start. Number one, I just want to remind you guys that the SPP 2010 is still valid except for the method of compen compensation uh, which is revised and uh, released under SPP 2016. So we have to follow the SPP 2016. And you, if you will take a board exam, I suggest na focus tayo so sa whatever number uh, percentage na nakasulat dito sa SPP 2016. Kalimutan muna natin yung practice sa labas because the actual architect can modify yung approach nila how they will charge the the client. Okay? Kalimutan muna natin yun. So, focus tayo dito sa SPP 2016 because uh, sa board exam uh, by the book tayo always by the book and uh, ito din yung basihan ng PRC sa pagche-check ng inyong uh, exam. So, yeah. So, let's start. Uh, okay. So, for example, meron tayong project. May nag-inquire sa atin. Uh, may nag-inquire sa inyong client. So, paano mo, paano mo siya sisingilin? Ano yung breakdown ng professional fee? And ano yung relationship nun sa cumulative payments which is stated dun sa SPP 2016? Ano, ano ba yung mga work phases dun sa project? Meron dyan project definition phase and then uh, schematic design phase, design development phase, contract document services, uh, negotiation and bidding, and uh, construction phase. Yeah? And uh, but before that, I just want to uh, credit the owner of the image. I just grab it from the internet. Okay, so Discuss natin yan. So, yan. First, dun sa nakasulat dun sa SPP 2016, upon signing of the agreement as the mobilization component. Okay? Dun, 5% yung breakdown ng professional fee. And then, cumulative payments is 5% of the professional fee. Uh, una, ano ba yun? Dito na Dito na papalob yung project definition phase. You have to define the requirements of the project. Everything about the project, you have to ask from the client. What is the requirement of client? What is the requirement of the project? Kailangan mo gather all the information from the client about the project. Dito yung meeting nyo. Dito, kayo nag Dito yung meeting nyo. Although, for sure, meron na kayo niya mga phone conversation. But... Magmimit ka yo somehow para ma, ma, ma gather all the information. Okay, dito sa project definition phase also, dito mo din ilalatag kay client yung service agreement. Doon ano yung naka ano yung project, ano yung responsibility ni client, ano yung responsibility ni architect. Uh, nandoon naka breakdown din doon yung method of compensation nyo which is based to SPP 2016 or uh, pwedeng different approach ni architect pero base pa din yun sa standard of professional practice o standard of professional uh, um, uh, paniningil nyo okay so uh, dun sa service agreement pag for example pumirma na si client natapos na lahat ng uh, discussion nyo and then nag agree na si client maniningil ka na sa kanya. Upon signing the agreement, the client needs to pay 5% of agreed professional fee, which is mentioned naman. And then, within 7 days, kailangan ng bayada ni, ar ni client yon kay architect. Okay. Just for the sake of our conversation or our discussion, ang project natin is residential. Okay. Residential project tayo and under SPP, this is under group 4. Statement of Probable Project Construction Cost or SPPCC 
dito sa base na to, wala, hindi mo pa alam eh. Uh, pwede mag-base kayo per square meter ang cost nyo. So, let's say, for example, uh, 30,000 per square meter ang, uh, ano nyo, ang agreement nyo. And just for the sake of our discussion na lang, let's say, ang total project construction cost or statement of probable project construction cost natin is 10 million. Okay. So, group 4 tayo, 10%. So, ang 10% niyan is 1 million pesos. So, yun yung professional fee mo. So, in that case, 1 million into 5% is 50,000. So, upon signing the agreement, nag-agree na si client na i-hire ka niya. So, in this case, kailangan magbabayad na si client ng 50,000 sa iyo. Okay? So, sa cumulative payment, 50,000 din. Okay? So, the same lang yan. In this stage, kailangan naka 5% ka na nasingil kay client. So, malinaw tayo dito, guys. So, the next phase is upon the completion of the schematic design services. And then, kailangan mo na makapaningin sa kanya ng 15,000, 15% of professional fee. And sa cumulative payment is 20,000 of the professional fee. <coughs> Okay, so ano ba yung schematic design phase? Sch schematic design phase is preparation of schematic design studies leading to conceptual plans. Uh, evaluates owner program, schedule, budget, and you have to prepare initial drawing. Initial drawing means sketches lang muna to. Ano ba yung mangyayari, ano yung maging itsura? Ng, uh, ng project, ng, ng residential uh, project mo. And then, you have to submit the statement of probable project construction cost based on current cost parameter. Let's say, still the same, 30,000 per square meter pa din yung cost nyo, na, na agreed nyo, no? So, pag natapos mo na yung schematic design services, 15% of a great professional fee ang kailangan mo singilin kay client or a sum sufficient to increase the total payment on the fee to 20% of the professional fee which is mentioned dun sa table ng SPP 2016. Explain natin to. Uh, for example, ang project mo pa din, the same project, residential group 4. Statement of probable project construction cost SPPCC Dahil hindi pa rin nagbago yung project construction cost mo 10 million pa din So we need to get the 10% of the project construction cost as your professional fee So still 1 million <coughs> So 1 million Kailangan mong kunin yung 15% nun which is 150,000 So upon the completion of schematic design services you need to get or you need to ask the client for 150,000 pesos. In this case, nakakolekta ka na kay client ng 200,000 pesos. Okay? Ito na yung total na nakakolekt mo kay client, 200,000 pesos. So, here, malinaw pa din tayo. Okay? Then, the third phase is upon the completion of the design development services. Ano ba yun? So here, nakalagay, upon completion, kailangan mo makakolekt ng 20% of the professional fee. Or a total of 40% of the professional fee. Design development phase, ang responsibility ni, client, ni, ni architect dito, based on approved schematic and conceptual plan, kailangan mo na mag-design development document, uh, plan, elevation, section, and other drawings. May mga drawings ka na dyan. Outline specification. Dito, si client, ahingan ka na ng ano ba yung mga materials na gagamitin natin. So, si architect, makakapag-propose na sa'yo kung anong flooring material, kung anong paint, kung anong window ang gagamitin mo, kung anong uh, doors ang gagamitin mo, roofing, and everything. Yeah? Madedefine na ni architect yan dyan. Pero, hindi pa yan detailed. Si architect, kailangan na din maggawa ng diagrammatic layout of construction system. 
Okay, the architect needs to update the SPPCC in this case. And then, pag na-agreed nyo na yan, natapos na ni architect yan, kailangan makapagsingil si architect ng 20% of the professional fee or a total of 40% of the professional fee. And within 15 days, si client needs to pay it to architect. Okay, dahil ang project natin, uh, residential project group 4, Statement of Probable Project Construction Cost, SPPCC, dahil nakapag-outline na, na-define na ni architect yung requirements ni client, nakapag-outline na din siya ng initial specification, medyo bumaba, for example lang, medyo bumaba yung project construction cost natin, which is naging 9 million na lang siya. Okay? So, kukunin natin yung 10% nito kasi yun yung professional fee according to the group 4 of of standard of professional practice uh, compensation so 9 million 10% non is 900,000 okay so 900,000 we have to get the 20% of that which is 180,000 so in this case 180,000 ang kailangan mo singilin kay architect kay client ang tanong tama ba yan 180,000 ba ang kailangan mong singilin kay client let's see Kasi sabi din sa SPP, in this stage, kailangan ka ng, nakasingil ka na ng 40% of professional fee mo. Total of 40% of professional fee. Anong 40% ng 9 million? Ah, sorry. Anong 40% ng 900,000? Ang 40% ng 900,000 is 360,000. Okay. In this stage, upon completion of design development services, kailangan mo nang nakasingil ka na ng a total of 40% of the professional fee. So, 360,000. So, kung i-add natin to, yung kanina na na-compute natin, which is 50,000, 150,000, 180,000, ang magiging total niya is 380,000. So, mas malaki siya dun sa 40% na dapat na nansingil mo na. So, ibig sabihin, ang 180,000 is wrong. Wrong yan. Hindi, hindi ka pwedeng maningil kay client ng more than dun sa nakasulat sa SPP. Okay? Wrong. Wrong yan. So, anong gagawin natin? mag adjust si architect niyan. So, gagawin ni architect, which is dapat ang total niya, 360,000, Ima minus natin yung 200,000 which is na singila natin sa kanya dati pa. So ang total ng 160,000 na lang. So in this stage kailangan mo makasingil kay client ng 160,000 lang. So ang total niyan guys 150,000 uh, 50,000 plus 150,000 plus 160,000 is equal to 360,000 which is tama na dun sa 40% of the professional fee mo na nakikailangan mo nang masingil kay client. Okay? So, I hope malinaw tayo dito. So, mag adjust ka. Hindi pwede yung 20%. Ito yung 20%? No. Kailangan based dun sa cumulative payments natin. At this stage, kailangan 40% na siya. Okay? So, let's continue. Upon the completion of the contract document services, nakalagay doon 50% of the professional fee or cumulative payments of 90% of the professional fee. Ano ba yung phase na to, tong contract document phase? So, contract document phase is based on the approved design development phase. Dito, si architect, magpe-prepare na siya ng complete contract documents. So, complete contract document complete contract document consists of design and construction drawing, floor plans, elevation, section, lahat. Okay? Structural design, electrical design or electrical drawing, plumbing and sanitary. Ito lang yung normal for residential. Or maybe Mechanical and uh, electronic and communication for high-end yung project mo. But mostly this one is for big projects. Okay? So, sa, dito din sa design development 
design development phase, kailangan mo na din uh, mag-define ng technical specification. Specification. Detailed na siya. And, kailangan mo din mag-submit kay client ng 7 sets of all construction drawing for the purpose of applying building permit. Okay? Uh, you have to update also the SPPCC based to your drawing and technical specification. Detailed na kasi siya. And uh, assist owner in filing the required documents to secure approval of government offices. Mga building permit, zoning like that. It's not necessary the architect but you have to help and assist the owner. Okay? And then uh, pag natapos mo na itong contract document phase, 50% of upgrade professional fee ang kailangan na mo nang masingil kay client or a sum sufficient to increase the total payment on the fee to 90% which is written. And kailangan bayadan ni client to within 15 days kay architect. So, let's discuss yung uh, project. Ang project natin, group 4, residential, statement of the probable construction cost, SPPCC, naging detailed na siya, like that, lumaki ngayon, naging 9,500,000. Before it was 9 million lang. Okay? The first one was 10 million, then naging 9 million, and then after the contract document phase, natapos na yon, ang project construction cost natin is 9,500,000. Okay? Group 4, that adds 10% professional fee. 9.5 million into 10% is 950,000. So, ang total... Uh, professional fee ni architect is 950,000 pesos. And in this case, sabi, kailangan na ni architect na makapaningil ng 50% of the professional fee or a sum of 90% of the professional fee. Now, 950,000, ang 50% nun is 475,000. Okay? 475,000. Patingin, sa tingin nyo guys, correct ba yun? 475,000 ang sisingilin ni architect kay, kay client. Let's check. Sabi kasi, or a, increase, or a total of 90% of the professional fee. So, in this case, 950,000, 90% nun is 855,000. Kailangan, ang total mo dito, nakapaningil ka na, is 850,000. 855,000. So, let's add natin. 50,000 plus 150,000 plus 160,000 plus 475,000 is equal to 835,000. Which is mababa doon sa 90% of the professional fee mo. Kasi sabi, di ba? In this case, kailangan a total of 90% of the professional fee. So, yung 475,000 natin is wrong. Wrong yan. So, ano ang tama, guys? So, 855,000 just minus the 360,000. So, ang total dapat na masisingin mo sa kanya is 495,000. Okay? 495,000. So, add natin. 50,000 plus 150,000 plus 160,000 plus 490,000 is equal to 855,000 which is tama na tayo dun sa cumulative payment natin 90,000 90% of the professional fee okay malinaw na tayo dun guys so mag adjust pa din tayo kung bumaba tumaas adjustment ang basihan natin is the current project construction cost. Every time kung ano yung uh, uh, updated statement of probable construction cost, yun yung basihan natin ng pag-compute ng professional fee. Okay. So, let's continue. So, nandito na tayo sa uh, the next one is within 15 days after the award to the winning contractor. And sabi doon, 90% of the professional fee. The same lang siya. Community payment, the same. Explain natin bakit the same. 
Okay? Dito kasi guys, sa stage na to, dito na yung bidding and negotiation phase. Sa big project, okay, okay sa big project, maghahanap tayo ng contractor. Or kahit sa small project din naman, maghahanap tayo ng contractor. So, may mga bidding yan. So, here, ang responsibility ni client, ni architect, is prepare bid documents. Bid documents is intellectual property of the architect. Guys, section 33 of RA 9266. Architect needs to assist the owner from early stage of establishing a list of possible contractor. Architect needs to help in organizing and conducting pre-bid conference. And architect is required to respond to the question from the bidders. Kindly note, for negotiated contract, client will do the rest above but negotiate with one contractor only. Okay, so within 15 days after the award of winning bidder, the payment of the architect shall be adjusted so that it will amount to the sum of 90% of the professional fee based to the winning bid price. Okay, just for example, si contractor 1, nagbid siya ng 12 million. Si contractor 2, nagbid siya ng 11 million dun sa project. Si contractor 3, nagbid siya ng 10 million sa project. So, after the review, tama naman yung uh, mga specification uh, at mga materials na gagamitin niya, how they will uh, uh, construct the project. They chose to uh, to to get the service of con contractor number 3, which is 10 million yung bid niya. So, ang, professional, ang, ang project construction cost natin, is 10 million na guys. Okay? So, residential project, group 4, awarded project construction cost, which is APC, kasi awarded na doon sa, sa contractor, is 10 million na. Before it was 9.5 million, after the bidding, naging 10 million siya. Okay? So, group 4, DAEDS, 10% of professional fee, so, 10 million, 10% niyan is 1 million. Ang professional fee ni architect na is 1 million na. Kasi umangat eh. Kung ano yung current project construction cost, dun tayo bagbabase ng professional fee. So, in this case, 10 million, 10% nun, 1 million. So, 1 million, 90% is 900,000. But, in, from the initial, uh, from the previous uh, phase, nakapaningil pa lang si architect ng 855,000. But based to the awarded project construction cost, kailangan na ni architect, ang total niya is 900,000. So in this case, in this stage, si client, kailangan makapagbayad kay architect ng additional 45,000. Yeah, to complete the 90% of the professional fee. Okay, so 900,000 minus 855,000 is equal to 45,000. Ganun yun guys. Okay? Malinaw tayo dun. So, mag adjust na naman dun. So, the last one is the upon completion of the work. Ito yung construction phase. Before makomplete mo yung work, construction phase muna tayo. So, Doon, 10% of the professional fee and a to total of 100% of the professional fee doon sa cumulative payment. Ano ba yung construction phase? Sa construction phase, uh, responsibility ni architect to answer all claims from client and contractors on all matters relating to the execu execution and progress of work. Okay, number one. Si architect magpe-prepares ng change order kung Requirements, kung meron, di ba? Periodic visit. Requirements and responsibility ni architect to visit the project at least once a week. Yeah? To check the progress of the project. To check the quality of work. The periodic visit is not required to architect to stay there for 8 hours. 
is not his responsibility. Architect also is not responsible for the contractor's mistake. And he shall report to client the defect, deficiencies, and shall condemn work found failing to conform to the contract documents. Okay, yan yung mga responsibility ni client, ni architect. Okay. So, next, determine amount of owing and due. And if client requested a full-time supervision, that will be based on the SPP documents on full-time supervision. Kasi guys, sa project, yes, responsibility ni, client, ni architect na periodic site visit. Pero hindi siya pwedeng i-force ni, ni client na mag-full-time supervision. If ganun ang gusto ni client, that is separate contract. Okay? Separate contract ang full-time supervision dun sa project. Okay. <clears throat> And then here, upon completion of the work, 10% remaining, right? Yung 10% na yun is divided into two. The first one is 5%, which is the liability under the, under the civil code, civil liability. And then the 5% is the periodic construction supervision. Okay. Upon completion of the work, the balance shall be paid, computed on the F. PCC or the final project construction cost. Okay. So, mag-iiba na naman yun. Yung total project construction cost natin na 10, 10 million. Okay. Maaaring tumaas yun. Guys. So, ang FPCC is final project construction cost based to the cost record submitted to the architect upon the completion of the project. Ang cost record, guys, is Lahat includes all the payment, material, labor, lahat, everything about the project. Kailangan submit yon kay architect. And then, kung ano yung uh, final project construction, construction cost, yun na ulit yung basihan ni architect para don sa, para don sa professional fee niya. So, final project construction cost is FPCCC 10 million 500,000. So group 4 da adds 10 10% professional fee. 10.5 10% is 1 million 50,000. So 1 million 50,000 into 10% is 105 kung kukunin natin yung 10%. So 105,000 105,000 105, Tama ba siya? Which is, I think, wrong. Check natin, guys. So, professional fee, dapat ni architect is 1,050,000. So, add natin, guys. 50,000 plus 150,000 plus 160,000 plus 490,000 plus 45,000 plus 105,000 is equal to 1,005,000 lang. Which is wrong. Wrong yun. Yeah? Wrong. So, ang gagawin ni architect, mag-adjust siya. Anong gagawin? 1,050,000 minus the 900,000 na nakolekta niya before, ang total nun is 150,000. So, upon completion of the project, kailangan makapaningil pa si client, si architect kay client ng 150,000. So, check natin guys. Kung itototal natin yan lahat, yung from the uh, project definition phase until the Completion of the work, 1,050,000 1, na yung professional fee, which is correct. Okay? Correct na siya. Tama na siya. Okay? So guys, uh, to, to make it short, tapos tayo. To make it short, ang professional fee, sa pagkukumpit ng professional fee is always based to the current project construction cost. Sa initial phases, statement of probable project construction cost. Pag na-award na kay contractor, is awarded project construction cost. And pag, pag nata natapos na yung project, is final project construction cost. Ito yung mga basihan. Kung ano yung current construction cost, project cost, yun yung 
besihan ni architect para makapaningil siya ng professional fee niya. Okay guys. So Thank you sa paikinig at uh, sa viewing nitong uh, video na to. I hope na nakatulong to sa inyo sa pagre-review nyo and naintindihan nyo yung uh, um, method of compensation under regular design services. Keep watching guys sa uh, mga videos na pinopost ko and thank you and God bless. Bye!